Hi, Hiram here. I've had a bunch of requests to do a boil test with this little burner that I've been showing with the remote feeder to see what it's like. Uh, this is just a simple carbon felt burner made out of a can like this, a small Gillette can. I just cut it off. It's about 1.36 inches in diameter and 1.57 inches tall. I'll try to remember to convert the into centimeters and put that down here. Has a piece of uh, carbon felt wicking just wound up inside of it. That's all it is. I just cut the can, put the wick in, put a nipple on. I think it's going to be a slow stove. That's what I was use it, going to use it for, but I never did do a boil test on it. Okay, my water here is getting colder. It was at 60. Let me try this real quick. It's already burning. Can you see that there? Okay, so I have two cups of water setting at 59 degrees. Room temperature, well that just went up to 60, 60, oh you're right. Uh, room temperature is 44 degrees with 40% humidity. Weather outside is windy and cloudy. So that was two cups of water at 59 degrees. So let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, come on, Two twelve in 12 minutes 4 seconds, okay, like I said I made this stove, this burner rather, to be slow. Uh, I want to use it in a dry baking oven that I'm making. But a couple of things with this. The uh, pot stand that I used for it might be a little short. This is only nine squares, nine quarter inch squares tall. So that only leaves me about three quarters of an inch between the uh, top of the burner and the bottom of the pot. Something maybe a little bit better would have been the height on something like the uh, Mojo pot stand. I might have to pick up the the burner a little bit with that, but that's about what I was expecting and hoping for, a long boil time. I wanted it slow. The carbon felt that I have in here is only tall enough that it just barely sticks over the top of the burner. You could pull it up, flare it out a little bit, make for a larger flame to make it heat faster if you wanted, but I was looking for even smaller. Uh, I took a tea light, punched a hole in it, and I was going to use this to narrow the flame down a little bit to even cool it off more. Not cool it off, but just make it not so hot. But again, that's about what I expected. Twelve, little over twelve minutes for two cups of water starting at 59 degrees. Okay, so that's what that comes out like. Let's see, did I forget anything? Uh, the carbon felt that's in there is about as high as the stand and it was uh, eight and three quarter inches long just rolled up and stuck in there. You could make yourself a bigger piece and make for a hotter burner. Okay, so I, for those of you that asked for this, like I said, it's not a fast burner, but it's a very easy burner to make. You just take a, in my case with this one, a small can. This was a Gillette foamy can, I forget what that one was, but they're the same size cans. Just take out all the foam in it, carefully pry up the uh, spray can top. I thought I had another one here somewhere. But I'm sure you've seen them before. Yeah, here we go. You empty out the foam in them, and then you have this. So all I do is, this is what I do. You don't, you know, you're up to you, but I just carefully pull this layer back and then the uh, the pot, the can will come open. And then you just cut it off to whatever length you want. Um, again, you can use a copper pipe cutter like the red one that I showed you the other day. Okay, so I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.